Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing something which you guys have been requesting in the comments for quite a while now and yeah I've been meaning to get around to doing this for quite a while too and that is making a whole solar system out of only habitable planets so without further ado we're going to get straight into this so we're actually making a return to the old Universe Sandbox 2 era I know it still says Universe Sandbox up there but the game was still Universe Sandbox 2 at this point and yeah we are in update 23 so we haven't got any surface grids to um give us any glitches or anything we're in a much less glitchy version of the game so that is great for making systems because yeah as i experienced from colonizing the whole solar system in the latest version the game is quite buggy as atmosphere pressures and stuff don't work properly so we're in our old version of the game here we've got all the modded objects at our disposal here because since they all still work in this version but remember we can only use habitable planets so yeah we can't have any gas giants unfortunately so it's mainly going to be the old classics which we've not seen in a while but without further ado Let's get into this. So, star-wise, I guess we won't go for anything crazy large. I mean, I'll go with, um, I guess, Alpha Centauri A. I want to go for something a little more powerful than the sun. So, yeah, we're just going to place that straight in the middle here. So, yeah, there we go. And I'll put the orbits. Oh, not the orbits. We want the zone on, sorry. So, let's go ahead and activate that. So, right, we want to have only hassable planets. So, yeah, we can't have a big variety, unfortunately, since, obviously, it's only, we're aiming at a Pacific thing here. But, yeah, we can get into this. So, I think the first thing I'm going to add in is it's got to be the old Pascal from the old versions. We have not seen this object in ages, but, yeah, it needs to make a return. So, I'm going to go ahead and place it in just in the green area here. There we go, and here it is. So yeah, take a look at this beauty. So it's a habitable planet. It qualifies. It may be modded, but look at it. Oh, it looks so good. I do miss this so much, this object. But yeah, here it is. So a full look around. It should have some city lights around the back when we cool it down. So it's too close to the star right now. So we need to increase that albedo. So let's go ahead and make it rise. Let that guy cool down. Put it to zero degrees, and it just starts heating up. Ah, oh, I wish the new versions could uh, be slightly less glitchy like this, because um, yeah, that's that's way better um, having the game like that. But yeah, here we go. So let's just um, there. There we go. There's the city lights. That's what we're after. So there we go. Obviously, I'm going to re-increase the water on it as well. And this object also has a custom surface texture. So if we look underneath all that atmosphere, you can see there's like actual craters and stuff like that. It's a tinted object. Um, it's got obviously the green lights on it also due to the tint. And then it's got the white clouds because it has Earth in the name here. So yeah, this is a great, great object. And yeah, it is good to have it back. So let's just go ahead and call it Pascal. So there we go. But yeah, it's great to have this. Um, oh, I'm just being silly. So yeah, it's great to have this object back now. It just looks, it just looks so good. Yeah, it's, it's absolute beauty to have that back. But just want to get the water levels correct. So there we go. So we've got the white clouds, a red surface, green atmosphere, all at one of the all-time greats, if you ask me. For modded objects, but yeah, there we go. Obviously, it's my favourite as well, um, or one of them. So there we go. But yeah, now moving on. So that's our first Hatful planets. I've also got um, planets that I never used from other people's systems. Let's try this Fermi object out. Let's have a look at this. This one's from way, way, way back. So there we go. Oh, and the game's got my old Proxima Centauri B. I guess we can throw that in as well. Why not? That's from one of the really old science comparison videos. But yeah, here we go. So it's a bit of a nostalgia trip as well. Oh, here we go. The atmosphere. This is one of the old uh, crazy clouded objects. Do I, do I have them in here? No, I don't. Oh, I do have the original Fire God as well. Oh, yes. Now that... That is awesome. So, yeah, there we go. So, it's already looking good. Is it a water world? Oh, I think it's a gas giant. Ah, no, we can't use it. It doesn't qualify. It's, in theory, it's a gas giant. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. But I think one thing I'm going to try... Let's use Fire God. I know that's a happy world. I'm thinking. So, let's go ahead and place it there. Oh, and it's such an old object now. But, oh, it looks so good. Oh, it looks great. Look at that. So, there we go. So, let's just... Um, yeah, we need to also increase the atmosphere. We'll go to 180M just to begin with. So it's starting to warm up. Good stuff. Um, we need to look underneath the clouds. So there we go. And then let's start to add some water to this guy. So here we go. Uh, I don't think I've ever tried this with water. Let's have a look here. So there we go. Oh, yeah. There, that's a lot better. It's also got the green surface underneath the crazy clouds. I mean, we'll just we'll just close it and just, just, absor just observe. Just look at the clouds go. Just look how cool. Just turn the labels off as well. But just look at the clouds go. That is... It's such a shame that these objects don't function properly now, but just, just gaze upon that. That is absolutely awesome. And while um, while we um, just have a quick peek at that, I'm actually going to look in my the newer the newer folder of Universe Sandbox because um, I know the game is in newer... Or is, um, yeah, there's two folders for the old version and the new version now, so I'm actually going to try and recover the other Fire God objects, but it looks like they got lost in my data wipe. So unfortunately, 
this may be the last of its kind. I did lose the saves and stuff after the data loss. So that could be last of its kind in my files. But yeah, there we go. So that's Fire God down. Good start here. We've got some really cool objects so far. Right, now the old Proxima B over here. So this is this is one of my oldest, oldest custom objects. Um, and yeah, it was, it was featured in my re the older size comparison videos. I'm not sure if I featured it in the more recent two years, but I definitely know it was in the original, um, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, auto orbit. And let's get it warmed up. So yeah, this was a simple random spawn with an orange atmosphere. Um, and yeah, so obviously some water as well. But obviously we also need to heat this guy up. And it's so good having the temperature tab back and just having the atmosphere right here. Because in the newer version, we have to scroll all the way down to find it. And I, I much prefer this old navigation, in my opinion. I think it's a lot easier to get around the game. But um, yeah, there we go. So let's just um, start warming this up. And there we go. So 580. And there we go. It's starting to warm up. As we can see, the oceans are starting to reappear. And this is one thing that's not in the game anymore, is the different colored oceans. As you just saw there, the ocean was actually white before it turned to the normal blue. So it wasn't completely ice ice. Because if we pull it to minus, I uh, just ma maximum minus. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. If we just put it to, yeah, minus that. So there we go. So there, there that's the normal frozen look i believe so there we go so that's completely rock solid but sometimes when it's at zero degrees it used i don't know if it's in this build but it used to appear slightly there's like a, a, a phase in between the ice and the water of more of a w ice colored water like it was a sort of a, a transition between the two let's see if it is in this version let's see let's just let it warm up let's have a keep an out I'm not sure if it is, but I know it was. It did exist at one point, but anyway, so enough of me trying to uh, find that out. We're going to just um, finish the planet up. Obviously, we're in the old version, so we can't customize the surface, so we have to leave it the way it is, but I mean, I think it looks all right. And then let's check these stats, because that's obviously um, what we want to do. So 13 likelihood, that's fine. It counts. It's got the stats. As long as it has the, uh, some number on the life likelihood, that counts. So there we go. So got it on pascal and i'm guessing that fire god should have it as well yeah there we go so it's not like the craziest stats in the world i think we we probably can go for like the perfect earth oh fire god's actually quite warm we need to cool that guy down so let's just go ahead and increase the albedo a bit how's pascal doing 80 degrees at pascal will also increase it there we'll lower the surface pressure just to let it cool down so we'll come back to that but yeah there we go also it's too hot so that's obviously going to upset the stats but we need to get the air we need to find an object that has one atm and it's got very similar stats to earth so i will go for like an earth i'll try and go for really high stats on one of them so let's see what else we've got oh and what better object to use than the party earth this is a this one is really old this is one of mr missilos old objects but let's go ahead and uh where could we place this uh, maybe a little further out let's just see um i just want to see roughly so let's put the zone on so um, no, no, there we go. So let's put the zone on. Okay, so maybe maybe a tad closer for party earth. I'm going to just put it in between the green and the blue there. So there we go. So let's put party earth in. There we go. And obviously these objects are not too large in size. But this has the exact stats of earth. This is just a crazy version of earth. It has the same stats. The mass, the radius are fine. It should have the atmosphere. So we just need to find that sweet spot where it will we don't have to change its atmosphere or anything but yeah there is the party earth close up so it's a pink atmosphere and it has got the what even is this texture sort of underneath so the rainbow i mean look how crazy america looks there and also it's got the climate mode the climate mode that's something you don't see anymore it's the old climate mode look at that so yeah there we go and yeah let's just take a look at america again because it looked pretty crazy up there with all the different colors let's just speed it up look at this Look how crazy that looks. That's awesome. Obviously, South America as well has got a range of different colors. And then, obviously, when you have the atmosphere in the clouds, just look at that. It looks great. So, there we go. But let's just see how it copes in this area. So, can it? Where, where's the sweet spot we need to put party on? So, I want it to stay around 15 degrees. So, right now, it is too it is too far away. It's cooling down. So, I don't want to change the stats. So, I'm just going to lower the uh, lower its orbit a bit. So, let's move it there. How does it cope there? So, it's still cooling down. Okay. So, let's just... um. Make it even closer. So it takes over two years to go around. So let's try and get it back to sort of the... I know um, Alpha Centauri A is a lot bigger. So it's sort of in the orbit of Pascal now. So let's see how it copes there. It's still getting too cold. And it does have one ATM, I believe. So where, where are you? Uh, climate mode. Oh, yeah, it's in Earth. Uh, atmosphere mass is... Okay, so let's just pull it back to one ATM. There we go. So, right. Still getting colder. Okay, so we need to move even closer to Alpha Centauri. So there we go. Come on, Earth, you should be... Uh, let's do it just one year, 364 days. Surely that would start to warm up. It's looking good. But remember, this is an object with climate mode. And for anyone who was around back on climate mode, climate mode sometimes used to mess around with the surface temperature a bit. So maybe that's why. But as we can see, the the um, yeah, the yeah North Pole up here, the ice areas, they are going to start retracting as the planet gets warmer. So we can, if you look up here as well, you can probably notice that that ice should start to decrease. So if we just let it uh, run for a bit, 
So we've got, and it looks to be settling rather nicely at around 13, 14 degrees. So that Earth is pretty much in the sweet spot around Alpha Centauri A. It's got the same stats as Earth, 364 day orbit, so it practically is the same orbit um, as our Sun, but around Alpha Centauri A instead. And remember, Alpha Centauri A, slightly uh, more luminous than the Sun right there as well. But yeah, there we go. Um, so where, where's our Earth? There we go, Party Earth. So looking good. So how, how are we doing down here? And then the stats, look at the stats on that. That is our almost perfect Earth there. 99.6, 99.7. Look at our stats. Maybe, maybe one of them will go up to 100 if we're lucky. I mean, it is possible. I remember it was possible. I never got one myself, but I always knew it was um, possible. So we can see the stats are going down. Why is that? It's getting too hot. Okay, so we need to increase it further up. So, yeah, I was thinking it didn't seem right for it to be perfect at one year orbit. So let's just let it cool down again. So you just need to get the Earth in that exact perfect area for it to work. So, okay, it's cooling down. So if I just put it to 15, how would it cope? So now it's getting... Uh, Okay, is it going to warm up? If it can sit sweetly there. No, it's still it's still too close. Okay, so we're going to puff it a little further away. I'm guessing around 1.3 would be the correct area. Because obviously, we just look at alpha A. One, oh no, 1.4. So it's a little slightly bigger than the sun. So we also have to put Earth at 1.4 distances of its normal. So yeah, I'm not sure. Just, uh, just a bit of experimentation right now. So let's just lower that again. But you just have to get it in that sweet spot. I don't want to change the stats of the planet at all. You can see the North Pole is going crazy right now if it changes around. So let's see how it uh, orbits there. And I don't want Pascal to mess it up or anything. So, And its orbit seems to be slightly... There we go. So let's just fix it. There we go. So that should be fine because its orbit was slightly tilted. So how's our uh, party Earth doing now? Okay, now it's starting to get too cold. Right, so we need to lower it. Oh, it's all freezing. No, don't do that. So let's just uh, do the same process again. They're just trying to get it in that exact perfect spot. So let's see if it follows. Let's just put it exactly where Pascal is. So there we go. So how's it going to cope there? So pretty much exactly the same orbit as Pascal. It's never going to catch up with Pascal. It's sitting in that sweet spot. It's still getting a little colder than it should be. So I'm just going to lower it a bit more. There we go. Just get a little warmer. So there we go. Looking good. So you can see it's really... Uh, really fluctuating with the North Pole up there. Look at that. See, that average surface temperature changes. That pole really does um, change there. So there we go. We can see it's catching up with Pascal. I'm hoping it won't have an interaction with Pascal. So I think what we can do with Pascal, since we're not going for a perfect Earth, we can actually make it slightly closer. So there we go. And it looks like Pascal, we need to give it more maintenance as well. So that's fine. So let's just go ahead and lower it down because obviously we can just put this albedo up a bit more just so it can handle being there. So we don't want to get too cold. So there we go. Let's just get it roughly somewhere we like. So around 18 degrees, that's fine. But anyways, back to Party Earth. How are we doing here? So, okay, so I think just a tad more. It seems to be getting around 16, 17. So I think if we just give it a, just a tad more further out, you've got to get it really in the right spot if you're trying to get an Earth working around another star. So it's just a bit of a trial and error. But it looks like we may have found our sweet spot. Look at that, 12. It goes up to 14. Okay, so that's looking good. And I'm just going to reset its orbit roughly there. There we go. So looking good. And there we go, 11, 12. So that's roughly in the correct area now. So let's check our stats. So if we go down here, 99, 99. There you go. That's what we want to see. So there we go. So while that is operational, I'm going to leave that be. So we're just going to go ahead and check out our other objects. So Pascal, that's fine. Proxima B out here, rather hot, so we'll increase that albedo up. So there we go. Fire God as well, 40 degrees. We'll just give it a little more albedo just to get it working there. And so far, I think we've got quite a nice little uh, system here of um, all different objects, all different their own way. So there we go. We've got crazy modded ones. We've got uh, custom texture modded ones. We've got crazy clouds. We've got a good old regular stock object over here, one of my old ones. So there we go. Looking good so far. Now, uh, what else What else can we uh, use in here? We've got all the old templates still. May have to definitely um, use some of those. What even is this? It was a gas giant, so we can't use that. Just trying to see what else we stuff here. Because this is all from backup as well. Oh, what about Pascal too? So that was a... Do I still... No, I, I lost all of my Pascal system planets as well. No. Oh, that's annoying. So, okay, what if I try Pascal 2 then? So let's just go ahead and... Uh, there we go. So where should I put Pascal 2? I'm just going to put it a little further out. So this was actually my Trantor world, but I think I slightly modded it myself so it changed. But here it is. So just going to let that um, warm up. And actually one thing... It just came to mind is if this is called Universe Sandbox, not Universe Sandbox 2, maybe it's reading the wrong folder. So I am going to check my old Universe Sandbox 2 folder and I'm going to see if there's any more objects in there which I can quickly savage. 
Um, or salvage, sorry, not savage, salvage. So, right, where are we? I'm just looking in the folders right now. So I'm just going to search up, see if I've got the fire god objects still. No, not in there. And what if I just see if I can find... No, completely, completely lost forever, um, as far as I know. So that's a real shame. But yeah, enough of me trying to uh, savage things. Well, they are. They have been savaged by the data loss, actually. But um, yeah, there we go. So enough of me rambling. Okay, so how's our temperature doing here? Okay, it's slightly warming up. So it looks like it's already doing all right. So albedo. Um, let's get it to just uh, 15 degrees. Oh, and actually, since we're in the old versions, frozen glitch is back. Oh, no. So the only glitch, the absolute nemesis of, um, yeah, my complete nemesis is the frozen glitch. So how are we doing here? So Pascal 2. No, it's not the same as um, my old Trantor world, unfortunately, because... It's not tinted purple. So there we go. That's it there. So that's already looking pretty good. And actually that does... I wonder if I've got my Pascal system saved. So actually while I'm thinking about saving, we are going to call... We're just going to save it here. So I'm just going to call it Earth-like. And that completely butchered the spelling there. I'll just call it uh, Earth-like system, I guess, since it's full of uh, Earth-likes. So there we go. So save that. But I'm just going to see if I've got my old Pascal. Do, do I have it? 20, was it the 2018? Was it in here? Okay, let's just have a little detour. It's a bit of nostalgia. Okay, what was it this one? I think it was. Can I recover my objects? Yes, I can. Right, yes. I'm going to recover some of those guys. So I'll just pick a few. I'm not going to use every single one. Oh, and it's good to see the Gasser planets back in operation. Look at that. So we'll have to do a gas giant system as well, I think, because there's so many cool ones we can use. But here we go. So the old Pascal. There's what even is this. There is Bespin. That's a cool one. But yeah, where is Trantor? I want to I wanna fish Trantor out. There you go. Look at that. So let's just go ahead and save it. Get that back in the object folder. There we go. And I think I'll... Oh, we've got the ones with the green lights as well. Let's um use this one. Yep, yeah, there we go. So I'll just recover a few of them. I'm not going to take all of them, but... Oh, all that. Oh, Volans as well. This one had some cool lights. Yeah, I'll recover. I'll just pick those ones for now. So there we go. So I don't want to just be looking around the old system. Actually, no, one more. I've got to recover this one as well. So there we go. So there we go. Right, that's enough of me going in other systems. Right, let's get back to our Earth-like system, what we're supposed to be doing. So where are we here? And let's go back to my sims. There we go. So Earth-like system, let's return. And now we actually have more objects at our disposal. Let's do this. So back to here. There we go. That's where they should be in the menu. Right. And all my stars have been messed up as well after I had my data loss and I had to recover my stuff. So this is all the stuff I had for my backups. So I, yeah, I did lose a lot of things. And all the stars used to be at the top here. So it's completely messed up my menu. But yeah, now I've got these guys back. Let's use the yellow one here. This one was a desert-like world. So I'm going to have it quite close to Alpha Centauri A. So let's put it at a tilt as well. Make it a little more interesting. So here we go. Right, so I'm going to have this as quite a hot spot. We're not going to go like over the top with temperature, but I want to have it around 50, 60 degrees. So right now it's getting way too hot. So we're going to increase that albedo, uh, atmosphere pressure. Oh, this has um, climate mode. Let's enable it. Right, uh, 1 ATM. Maybe actually 0 0.8. Let's, let it, let's just turn off climate mode, actually. So I don't think it's important when we've got the temperature really hot. So it's still an increase, so we're going to increase that albedo more. Let's do about 50 degrees. Okay, how are we doing? So you're going to increase or decrease? Come on. Okay, so it's roughly... Okay, so don't want to just get the albedo correct. Don't want it going any higher than 50. Around around 51. Okay, there we go. So let's just lower the... There we go. So let's get our, our desert landscape to reappear. There we go. And also the oceans on this are yellow. So they do look um, pretty invisible. If we just go underneath the atmosphere and clouds, there is the ocean. So you can see it's just the tint on the objects. And we should have some lights, I'm hoping, behind. No? Is it still too warm? Uh, we've got to have the city lights on if they work. So let's just try uh, 20 degrees. Are they going to reappear? Maybe they, they may actually be completely broken because I know sometimes you could just break city lights um, if you uh, mess that up with the temperature and stuff. So maybe, yeah, it looks like city lights are broken, unfortunately, but they used to be a nice yellow set um, on there. But yeah, there we go. So that's fine. So I'll just leave that um, in here. And well, actually, if I put Earth in the name, white clouds, yeah, look at that. It's a little different uh, color variation. It does look quite good at the white clouds, actually. But yeah, there we go. So I'm happy with that. That's fine. We've got a slightly different orbit. So there we go. And it's still haspable as well. I mean, it's got the water. And um, we can check the stats. So it'll just be a quite a hot world, obviously. But not probably not the most friendly place for most. So, yeah, there we go. Right, now, so that, that's still got this. As long as it's got the life likelihood stat, that's fine by uh, my rules. So there we go. But now I'm going to use Trantor. So I'm going to put that a lot further out here. So there we go. Oh, and yes, big rock. We are bringing that back. That's going to have to be really far out, though. Oh, it's in a bind. It's so big. It's in a bind near the star. This is my original, original one from years ago but anyways back to Trantor now so we're probably going to have to give this an atmosphere buff since we are quite far away so let's go to uh 
10 ATM to start off with. So there we go. Climate mode we can use. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Let's lower the water. Oh, and this thing is... I always never... This was such a beauty, this one. So there we go. It's got... It should have the red lights. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Red polar caps. The purple or reddish tint on it. I mean, this one is a crazy... This one is a crazy, crazy one. one of my, this has probably got to be one of my all-time favourite modded objects as well. But yeah, there we go. So 11... Is that just going to comfortably sit at 11? Or hopefully it will. Is this, no, is it getting too... So zero degrees. Okay, it's getting too cold. Okay, so we're going to have to warm it up again. So we'll just disable climate mode so it's getting cold. Oh, no, it is warming up. So we can just put it back on then. Oh, no, but climate mode... It, or without climate mode, it... Oh, it's annoying when it does this. So, yeah, with climate mode, it freezes. Without climate mode, it warms up. So I guess we'll just have to buff it. So 20 ATM, getting a little crazy there. Climate mode back on. And that should hopefully keep it uh, comfortable there. The oceans have disappeared, so we're going to have to reapply those. Oh, and then the frozen glitch. Oh, of course. Yeah, classic. I mean, that's all part of the nostalgia, right? But there we go. So sad owl. Had our oceans back. And then we'll have to do the good old fix that I used to do for it. So there we go. So you always had to save the simulation when the water was enabled. Replace it. Reopen the simulation. And it should be fixed. So where are we here? Okay, so click play. And yeah, it still breaks. Oh, it's so frustrating when it does that, isn't it? Uh, disable climate mode. Maybe, maybe maybe it's the climate mode. Because I remember climate mode was a big deal. Climate mode was the thing that messed it up. So there we go. So it's just uh, re-enable that. City lights are enabled. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll just have to uh, ignore the climate mode, unfortunately. It's a shame, though, because the red poles on this object do look really cool. So where are we? So Earth light system. There we go. Click play. There you go. Fixed. So, yeah, climate mode. Oh, and it's frozen again. Oh, I, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Oh, dearie me. Oh, that's very annoying. So, yeah, and this is this is the classic glitch. I mean, it's just part of the old version of the game. I mean, we can't really do too much about it. I mean, I can try and fix it in between episodes because I do, uh, I think I'm going to have to make a second part for this because there's still so much more I want to add in. Like, if we're going, we're going to go all in with this. We're going to have all different types of modded objects. I'm going to see if I can recover more objects because I think I've got all, the, all these systems here. I think they contain modded objects and I think I can probably try and get some of your old objects back in from systems as well. So I'm going to do some digging around. I'm going to try and recover some more of my objects. I'm going to fix Trantor and get it uh, working properly. So I'll probably just have to spawn a new one. But I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, I'll just remove Big Rock as well. We'll have to add him uh, next time. But yeah, that's that's um, part one of making a fully habitable solar system. So yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. I'm, I'm really having fun with this already. I mean, the nostalgia as well. I've just seen all of the old objects back in action. And they're actually all very similar to Earth in size. So a lot, some of them are actually bigger. As soon as that Fire God's the smallest. But yeah, obviously we've got the Earth. Um, there we go, the party earth, yeah, and all, they're all very similar in size, these guys, but yeah, it's good, to, it's good to see them back in action, I think, and yeah, nice to be back in the old version of the game as well, just to get all the modded objects, um, and stuff, but yeah, there we go, so that is part one, but obviously, if you guys have got any suggestions for what you want to see, like, any old objects, um, or just, or just tips in general, if you've got any, um, feedback, anything like that, just any, any ideas you got in general for this system, let me know down below in the comments, but yeah, guys, with that all out of the way, I will see you all in the next video, make sure if we can hit, let's even go for about 40 likes on today's video, actually, guys, to see if we can hit that, that would be absolutely amazing, it helps the channel out a lot, and it's much appreciated, guys, and massive thank you, um, to you all for watching this video as well, but yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, make sure to subscribe if you're new as well, helps on the journey to 14,000 subscribers, guys, and yeah, make sure you have a great day, stay safe out there, guys, and I will see you in the next video, goodbye.